Hey there, OP students. This is Sherry Sains. I'm the librarian for linguistics, and I'd like to show you today how to get an article about milk that is uh, considered scholarly and acceptable for the project that you're working on. So here's the, the web page that we're working on. This is the library web page. And you'll see that it comes up automatically at Articles Plus. Articles Plus is a big overarching search engine that covers many, many, many um, databases. And so we can use it to find an article. So I'm just going to start by searching raw milk. The way we usually do, throw something in and hope for the best. And you see that I get 21,799 hits. And that's a little bit more than I can use. So I want to start narrowing this down to something useful to me. One of the first things I can do is add an aspect of my topic. So we're interested in the question of uh, the safety of raw milk. So I'm going to put the word safety in here. And I'm going to allow other ways to get at the same idea. I'm going to say, or health. So if it's about raw milk and health, I could be interested in it. Or um, I discovered that this works pretty good. So this is consume, right? So if I consume raw milk, is that safe? It also, if I put the asterisk on it, it allows it to be consume or anything stuck to it. So consume, consumer, consumption, uh, consumers, all the various ways that consume is part of our idea. So now I'm going to say raw milk and it also has to deal with safety, health, or consumption. So that limited my study, my set down to 7,000 something. That's really useful. And then I'm going to come over here to the side where these limiters are, and I'm going to say, and it must be current. That's way too old. Let's make it 2005, no more than 10 years old, right? And then it will update. And from 7,000, it throws out a couple of thousand of the older ones. And then lastly, I'm going to say, and you know what? I must have scholarly. I want it to be an academic source, a source that is um, credentialed for scholars. And that throws out another half of them. So now I have 3,413 things. These are all articles about, possibly about the safety of raw milk. And you can see that some of them seem to be right on the topic, and some of them are in Turkish. And unless you speak Turkish, that's not going to be useful. If there's something here that I want to read, for example, um, I might pick food safety in raw milk production, risk factors associated. It's right here. I click PDF full text, and it will take me to the actual article, and I can read it, I can download it, I can print it from here. So that's kind of how it's done. It's really pretty easy. If you have any trouble, you can ask me. You can chat with me through the library's chat service. You can ask any librarian here at the library, and we'll be happy to help you.